In this recipe, we're going to look at using resistive sensors with a Raspberry Pi, uh, using just a capacitor and a couple of fixed value resistors to uh, be able to read uh, analog sensors that are resistive. These are the components we're going to use. Uh, we've got two 1K ohm resistors here, fixed value resistors. We've got a 220 nanofarad, that's 0.22 microfarad uh, multi-layer ceramic capacitor. The actual type of the capacitor doesn't really matter to, too much, but um, any, as long as it's around that kind of value. Um, here we've got a little trim pot variable resistor, so when we twiddle a knob on the top we'll be changing the resistance of this, and it's this that we're going to try and measure uh, in this setup. Okay, so let's put this together. So we'll start by putting the trim pot up on the top three rows, right over as far right as we can on the board. Then the two fixed value resistors need to just jump across the, uh, the two columns on the first and second rows, like that and like that. And then um, do be careful that the resistor's leads don't touch each other because they get pretty close. Um, if you're worried about that happening, then just shorten them a bit. And then we want the capacitor to go from the uh, second row just down to any free row down here. I'll put it into row six on here. Okay, so now let's put the jumper wires into the Raspberry Pi. Let's start with the ground wire, and the ground wire goes from the, this row 6 where you put the bottom of the capacitor, and we'll put it into the ground on row 3 of the Raspberry Pi, and then we've got these two other leads to attach, and they go to the rows 1 and 2 where we have the two resistors. One goes to pin 18 and the other goes to pin 23. Okay, so that's our setup. Let's um, try running the code. Right, so the test program for this is called POT STEP. Um, POT is short for potentiometer, and that's another name for a variable resistor that we're using here. So we need to run it as super user, so sudo python pot underscore step dot pi. And when we run that, we'll see that um, we get a series of readings appearing. So let's go over and start turning the knob, and we'll see how the readings change. So let's turn it to its full uh, counterclockwise position, and we say we get a reading about 10. Let's sort of put it roughly in the middle position. Get a reading of sort of 77, and then let's slide it right over to the other, other extreme end of its travel, and we're getting a reading of around 150, 140, 150. You'll notice it is a bit unstable, and that's just kind of the nature of, of this way of measuring things uh, using this the, the time it takes to charge up a capacitor. Um, later on, we'll be using analog to digital hardware that will produce much more accurate results. But it does at least allow us to find out the position of the, of the pot. So you could use that for um, various things. So we've um, managed to wire up a variable resistor and be able to tell roughly its position using uh, just a, a capacitor as a technique for doing this. Um, we could use the same approach for many other types of resistive sensor and in some of the recipes that follow we'll look at using light sensors and other types of uh, resistive sensor.